Why is Artillery releasing the X3 when the X4 is already in the starting blocks? I cannot answer this question today, but we can take a look at what awaits us with the X3+. Plus. Hello and Glück auf! I am Jan and today we have the Artillery Sidewinder X3 Plus here. This was provided for the review by Geekbuying. However, neither they nor Artillery 3D have any influence on the content of this video. But let's not beat above the bush. What's the technical specs of the Artillery X3 Plus like? The printer is supposed to be printing 300 mm per second, but 150 to 200 mm are more realistic. The print volume of 30 by 30 by 40 cm is larger than comparable printers in this price range. Leveling is done with 6 adjusting screws and also automatic with 49 probing points. A direct extruder is used and the hotting goes up to a maximum of 300 degrees Celsius. The printer also comes with a magnetic PAI and Marlin is used on the printer itself in a newer version that includes pressure advance and input shaping. So what do I like about this printer? The elephant in the room of course is the large print volume of 30 by 30 by 40 cm. It has even more space than the Creality K1 Max. Assembly is easy and should be quick even for beginners. Print quality is absolutely fine just right out of the box. The printer is offered at a very attractive price point and the look and feel are very high quality with slim cable routing and a nice simple overall appearance. Loading and unloading filament is very relaxed. One button loads, heats up, insert filament, happy. Unloading the same only in reverse. No need to press on a clip, just push the filament in as far as it will go or pull it out after unloading. Negative as well as positive. The printer has no Wi-Fi, but it is recognized by Octoprint. So if you have a Raspberry Pi idling around, the device can be supplied quickly with Wi-Fi. Also a small gimmick is the drawer for accessories. So what do I not like? The pressure advance and input shaping of Marlin is unfortunately much more uncomfortable than that of Clipper. And even after several attempts of adjustments, I have no result that has really satisfied me with all models. Also, unfortunately, the fan of a power supply unit broke down during my review, due to bearing damage. Which could just be a coincidence, but still, I don't like it. Also, this printer is no race car. The speed is absolutely okay for its price but other printers deliver more. The slicer supplied on the USB stick is a customized version of Cura 4.8 and a customized version of Prusa slicer is offered on its website. It will probably be a while before good profiles are available for the current version of Cura, Orca or whatever slicer you prefer. Or you can just build one yourself. One major drawback is that you can only use the entire printing volume if you remove the filament sensor. I had the problem with the sensor mounted that at a certain height of about 34 cm the printer thought it had run out of filament and paused the print, with a request to get new filament. The error cannot be corrected during the print. The bending of the filament is probably too much for a path ab about this height. Also a proprietary nozzle is used, which differs slightly from the Volcano nozzles. The Volcano should also fit if you cut the silicone sock to size. Unfortunately I cannot confirm this. A smaller annoyance is that the estimated times of the slicers, Cura and Prusa forks, do not match a real printing time at all. Ok, it's actually always faster than the estimated time of a slicer, but it would be nice, it would be roughly the same. Also, they advert the printer as quiet. It is not. So, what is my conclusion? I have mixed feelings about the X3+. Plus. On one hand, you got a lot of print volume and a decent print quality for little money. On the other hand, the X4 seems to be waiting for liftoff, which leaves me with a bad taste in my mouth. So for whom can I recommend the printer? That's quite simple. People who only want to print simple filaments such as PLA, but large and cheap. Of course it can't compete with printers like the Creality K1 Max in terms of speed and material choice, but it only costs a fraction and even has 10 cm more height to print. But only if you move or remove a filament sensor. I could also imagine that the printer with Clipper will be really interesting, as it is not really special at this moment, apart from the print volume and price. That's it for me. I hope I was able to help you a little and clear up any uncertainties about this printer. So for now I'm out. Until next time, Jan.